All right, hello everyone, and welcome to another Schoolgirls Kickstart League match. Uh, tonight we've got winners' quarters between 623B and Team Swag. So unfortunately, Team Swag did have a member who couldn't make it tonight, uh, and their computer's just been having issues in general. So Ross Brack will be playing as two members of his team tonight. I see here he's starting out with Zot Stock. Yeah, and, oh yeah, I'm Chari, I'm also helping commentate here. Yep, thanks so. for coming through, Chari. Yeah, okay. Unhawk's uh, starting up for his team. Yep, so we've got a uh, Cerebella Big Band up against a Solo Parasol. Uh, I believe that in their last match, this is actually what it came down to as well, was these two players. So, yeah. interesting to start off with it for sure. Last time, Unhawk was able to just kind of steal game three after a pretty back right. and forth set by just, like, so. every time Parasol went for the napalm shot. It is plus two, but she can't true chain anything from it. Uh, so he's just mashing reversal super. One thing, changing notes from Unhawk from what he normally does, he's using the Excel Bell exist instead of uh, lock and load. Yeah. You're right. I wonder if Band also is going A-Train. Uh, I'm pretty sure Carabella. he just uses Giant Punch. Well, he... Well, previously, he's just been using Giant Punch, uh, Lock and Load. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, using, yeah, it, uh... Yeah, it... So, Excelabella probably allows for, like, different combos or something. Giant Punch is just such a commanding tool in neutral. It's, a. Uh, it's not like free, but it is a very good like, hey, yeah. I'm winning neutral button. <laughs> so let's see if Frostbreak goes for the swap here. Doesn't look like he went for a reset. Oh. That actually, he didn't need a reset. He could have just killed off that. Yeah, that's odd reset. Probably didn't realize quite what the health was. Uh, also, he, so he got a reset earlier in the combo that I'm not sure he recognized where he got the 4HK <laughs> overhead. Uh, it's the same point where it goes in the combo. The combo just dropped and Unhawk got hit by it anyways. <laughs> so uh, he might not have recognized. Ros, Ros Brack kept getting uh, oh, yeah, four the Ks of DPs. Gotcha. Yeah, that also explains why he was having some trouble uh, poking out of stuff. 4HK is not going to do a whole lot as a reversal. It's like a 20-something yeah. frame button. Nice. So Unhawk just going defensive, playing... Uh, Big armor takeover. Mm -hmm. yeah, Ross Brack does get the better start of the two, but doesn't quite manage to capitalize on it. Cerebell is too far away from yeah. the combo. So Ross Brack's just basically playing a poke, playing a zoner game, sort of. But yeah, so we were actually just looking at this before the match. That lock and load that Unhawk is using there is minus six. So you should be good to mash uh, after it. Even if you can't true punish, you should be able to take your turn. As long as he doesn't burn the meter to cancel into super. That is the one risk. Yeah, that was oh. a good reset. Uh, yeah, I think he just used the damage. bomb for the reset. All and right, puts him wow. in a really good position. Yeah, for sure. He's got, like, almost full health. Unhawk's got a mountain to climb here. But, like, six I mean, clean hits? There's one. Rosbrack can just start, like, kill me, like, one or two. Yeah, just one hit and rosbrack has got it. Okay, Unhawk trying to punish that, uh, oh, I guess, this is like probably a gear burst. Yeah, this should end it as long as... Oh, Rosbrack does drop well, it, but he was in the air. <laughs> Kind of a lucky break for him there. But, I mean, even if Anahawk had gotten that, he still had a ways to go. He uh, did get, he got like two with a, openings. With another, with another meter, he probably had, and probably positioned to get corner. He may have been able to get something really good off of that. Yeah, for sure. It definitely would have worked out better for him than that did, but. Yeah. <laughs> kind of hard not to. Alright. I knocked his head to going a lot more offensive this time. Yeah, good okay. stagger there from Rossbrack. Uh, just goes for the delayed 5 HK. Or, sorry, HP. Oh, taking uh, medium uh, medium guard to take the armor punch for him. It 
Huh, I'm actually curious as to whether that ended up just is working out by spacing. It because it's definitely not considered a projectile, but it is something you can hit. So I'm not sure if it does the Skullgirls thing where as soon as a projectile, as soon as a hitbox connects at all, uh, the hitbox just gets deleted unless it hits. So like if you're happy birthdaying someone, like that is and there's like a work frame. On. Uh, it's supposed to be only anti-projectile, right? Yes, you can hit it though, so I'm just curious whether that... Ooh, got some uh, disrespect here from Ross Brack. Yeah. It's a pretty strong position again. Yeah. Unhawk is picking different options after his lock and load. They're just yeah. all losing to that same mash. Yeah, there we go. Well, that beats uh, the mash, but yep. you did, that's your turn. Alright. Yeah, it kind of double or nothing on it. Yeah. This... And wow, yeah, that does kill. All right, so Unhawk out... goes down. And that puts uh, Team uh, Swag, I yep. think it is. Team yeah, Swag. Puts team, puts team Swag in a fairly good position, too. Yeah, Unhawk is, like, a big one to take down, for sure. All right, so it is now all up to Diamond Mew and Timinator on 623B. So Rossbrack does still have... Zot's stock, basically. <laughs> but we'll see if Diamond Mew can at least knock DJKK out here. Or if DJKK will start that, or keep that snowball rolling, I guess. This is going to be a Philia Fuqua versus Solo Squiggly, I would assume. There's a chance that DJKK will pull out a team, but... I don't think so. I've seen him do it once or twice, but not very often. Yeah. Alright. Uh, DJKK going. Trying is done with uh, jump HP, but the, the hairball covering the ground oh. means he can't. Means like, yeah, he can tag you, but you're getting combos for that. Also, that was a really nice reset there by Diamond yeah. He put the clone, and people have been starting to recognize the clone and block it. Uh, but so he's just like, alright, you're gonna keep blocking. Time to throw. <laughs> Diamond actually have also clone out, having clone out means you can probably actually combo off it without super. <laughs> yeah, so it's even better, you're right. Yeah, Diamond is using a whole lot more of his assist in this game. Um, he doesn't, I... like, he uses it a decent amount, but he's been throwing it out basically every chance he gets. It is good horizontal well, space a big, control. A big thing he's doing is shutting down, like, the sort of jump HP. Oh, good Yeah, got some life back. Get the wife back, get the red health out, out from yeah, them. Yeah, wasn't a ton of red health gone, but he got a decent chunk back. Yeah, I know he's to, uh... Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did it just pause for you two? I got kicked out. Okay, my screen oh. is just frozen. We had and a full... Now I'm kicked out. We had a full game drop. Oh, boy. Um, it was... All things considered, like... They were life... both Yeah, even? they were basically even. Alright, uh... Um, I was gonna say... Alright, so that was a neat button warmer. <laughs> yeah. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. It looks like it's on Diamond Muse end if it's a connection thing. That's really strange, because he's had consistently good connections, but his jitter is up really high right now. Uh, unfortunately, really odd. it is the internet, so decent chance that this is just a shoutouts to Comcast kind of match. <laughs> yep. Oh, wow. The cross under there was super good. Yeah. Oh. DJKK seems to be responding more better to the hairball. Yeah, for sure. He is getting caught by a number of tick throws, but I mean, luckily, if you're going to be hit by something, especially by Fukua, like, the throw is not too bad. It scales damage down pretty hard, and she has to burn meter to convert off of it if she doesn't already have a clone out. That yeah, said, there meter, goes Fukua. Like, meter, clone, or corner. Or she gets the or she gets the armored command grab. That. Uh, combos free. True, true. Alright, so things are still pretty even. 
Wow. wow. I'm actually surprised that didn't hit the heavy punch extension. Yeah, that's really odd. Yeah. Let's see if uh, DAK okay, wants to get his turn if he's going to go for life gain back. Or just I think. Oh, yeah, he could have killed there. He did drop the combo, though. Diamond Me recognizing, yeah. mashing out with super. I don't think he oh. can kill here. Ooh, yeah, no, not if that happens. What? That said, these are. Oh, boy. This is really, really rough. Yeah, DJK, or sorry, Diamond Mew had exactly one option there, and he tried for it. Uh, I saw the push block guard cancel flash of green right at the end, but so, no um, super came out. I, like, after that one super with wall bounce, I got DC'd. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> uh, I stayed connected throughout that match, so. Well, more importantly, they stayed a... connected. Yeah, there's a chance we'll have to remake Lobby. But looks like they're hopping into this one straight away, though. Yeah, chip damage go burr. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Okay, so remember, that was game one specifically. The first one just, you know, got in Wait, won that? Oh. Uh, DJ KK won that one. All right. Yeah, nice cross-up orb reset there with the clone. Ooh, oh, he gets not... the stagger. Yeah. I'm not sure. Just, uh, seeing if, uh, Fermi was going to, like, get out buttons. Was gonna what? I don't know. Like, I'm not sure how that stagger hit. But yeah. Interesting IPS. I guess didn't keep track of, uh, Wow, Fates, or he baits the throw, faints the throw, that's the word I'm looking for. But like, hey, it works, right? Like, walk up jab. <laughs> oh, right, so we were actually talking about this the other day. Uh, a lot of people don't know, but Fukua's drill assist, when it is an assist, it loses invincibility on the H drill. It just had too many things all at once. It was like lockdown and pushback and uh, a reversal. Okay, needs to. Never mind. Yeah, he had to snap there if he wanted a chance, but no chances were given by Diamond Mew. <laughs> and that looked like a completely different game. I don't know yeah. what, like, core things changed there. It looked like Diamond Mew just kind of got momentum and didn't let it go this time. I mean, part of that is yeah. just, you know, Skullgirls, but... <laughs> yeah, it's just Skullgirls, you know. All right, well, let's see what DJ KK can do to bring it back here. God, actually, after that last game, Diamond News definitely got the momentum. Oh, you have to, like, watch out Parabol Assist. Yeah, actually, thinking about it, last game, it was almost... Uh, Diamond News spent a lot more time on Philia than he did Fu. I felt like... Maybe just because oh. DJ KK had been doing so well about avoiding the yeah. hairball. Oh, that's a bad push block. Since that's a DP, it's a, uh, punishable there. Yeah, um... But, so got the, a bomb block, anyway. It was... The DP itself seemed to be a reset? I'm not sure if it was intentional or just like a weird hitbox interaction. I think, but it, someone I think it was trying... I think it was trying to be a combo ender. ender. That's what I'm assuming, but yeah, the move before it launched Squiggly in a weird angle, and all right, yeah, DJ KK does have one of Diamond Mew's characters down. Is that gonna hit? Okay, no. Does spawn actually in front, not inside? That was yeah. wonky. It does have a tall, tall hitbox, but not no behind hitbox. Gotcha. All right, yeah, just reversals out. What's the combo? Is there gonna be a reset? Oh no! Oh. What a drop. That's unfortunate. Tried just throws that, meter at the problem. And this all is right. a checkmate. Yeah. Yeah, once he jumped, that was it. No, it didn't run. Like, the only thing he could have done there is just run up, snap, squiggly. Yeah, well, sorry, that's what I was meaning, is his one option yeah. was to successfully get the level one to teleport him over there while he's invincible and then immediately snap off of it. All right, so Eminator yeah. is actually the remaining member on 623B. Yeah, snapping works against that against that uh, super, even if it's solo squiggly. Uh, do, do you know if it goes away if she dies as well? 
if it's um, a team? I I had a match where it did not go away when when I died as oh, quickly. Man. Okay, that's crazy. But, but it's also but also was end of round. Hmm, okay. After that. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know. All right, let's see what Timinator can do here, though. So he's a player who, he has a pretty solid neutral. He really likes his fireball game, but he hasn't quite managed to take advantage of his pressure quite as much as some of the other players. As we're seeing here from yep. Rossbrack, uh, that is not something Rossbrack has issues with. He likes his yep. uh, pressure go burr. Yeah, Rossbrack's like, hmm, I have a block stun, block stun loop that most players can't deal with. Wow, just the <laughs> low command grab right up in his face. Oh, but unfortunate no, drop. No combo. Yeah, I'm not sure, Timmy, because uh, Fuqua's fireball isn't really fast enough to like, test this. I think this. he needs to slide, to slide fireball. Slide like, fireball? Slide, slide and then cancel it with a fire. Oh, yeah, fireball you're right. To, That'd like, be get an interesting under tactic. And, yeah, but it's also sliding as a... Uh, isn't a common option for Fukua to eat one two. Yeah, for sure. Basically, slide Kara Fireball. Like a very delayed cancel. Yeah, that should be blocked. Yep. Yeah. Close on the recognition, but that super is just a little bit slow. Yeah. It's not the best reversal. It's like, probably better to... Like, if they're close, you definitely want to be using Drill's reversal. The drill's honestly not that fast either. Wow, uh, we're gonna call that a throw tech because yeah. it was the armored command grab. But <laughs> the only command grab you can throw tech, and only before. <laughs> All right, I think this should be game. Oh no, no. Crossback drops it. Wow, that's still crossed up. Drops then picks it up anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. I wouldn't have blocked that. Like I play Parasol. I didn't realize that that would corner pocket. All right. Yeah, so as we saw there, Timmy, at the start, he had like, he was doing really well, but it was just after Rossbrack got in and started getting his pressure, then Timmy just like couldn't do much about it. And he also couldn't get his fireball game started because of the napalm tier loops. Yeah. Yeah, that's not no, a reversal. That's not a reversal. Yep. I understand sentiment, but wrong character for that. All right, let's see. Rossbrack comboing to the corner is the reset. Good blocks. Like you does push block, my... doesn't get pushed back. Armor. It's oh no! I wonder if that's think nerves that... or if it's no, a character uh, yeah. weight. Maybe. Yeah, Timmy like, definitely want... had that, and he's definitely hit those confirms on me before. <laughs> yeah, trying to double jump around, around the napalms. Yeah, that's really... I guess that's his only real option, is jump and throw his own. Or, but... slide goes under most projectiles, I'm pretty sure, but... Yeah, also... sorry, his only, like, default character option... I feel yeah. like a lot of people aren't confident in the late cancels that you can do in this game because it's very, like, just a Skullgirls thing. Yeah. There's a... <laughs> just runs up and does it. All right. Oh, no, wrong super. Oh, wrong super. Yeah, I'm thinking that there's definitely some nerves here. Timmy probably is feeling a lot yeah. of pressure from being the last one. And also getting all of these uh, fireballs isn't going to be helping. Yeah. Yeah, oh, cross under. Good. Yeah. Won't be able to kill off this, but it'll be fairly good. close. And just gonna go back to near bombs. Yeah. Oh, doesn't quite work. Timmy's got one last oh, shot. Kind of and he's got a lot here. to do. Yeah, sniper. So, uh, Fuku is actually the one character who can beat that checkmate. Her level one is invincible for so long. It's like one of two moves in the game that after Sniper happens, you can input it, and it, you just win. But all right, uh, that will actually do it for that match. Congrats on Team Swag for the win. Uh, I'm going to go see if their next opponents are actually ready. But thanks for coming through, you guys. All right, who 
would they be facing next? Uh, uh, I'm actually going to go check that right now. Liquid Just meat. Just one second. 